Another man who's experimenting to find the right combination is Ronnie Sox, a Southern pro who teams with his mechanic, Buddy Martin, to form one of the toughest partnerships in big time drag racing. Well, early in the day, it was slowing them down right much, but we're getting some rubber on it right now, and it seems to be, uh, times are coming down right, right smart. Who's in there as a contender as far as you're concerned right now, Ron? Well, every one of the guys right now is only uh, 1,100 different, so you can, it's anybody's race. Didn't uh, you uh, have a little trouble earlier this morning in one of your runs? Right, we were experimenting with a new transmission and didn't seem to work out too good. Another driver who's having trouble at this point is three-time Winter Nationals champion Connie Kalita and his bounty hunter. He hasn't been able to record competitive qualifying times, and he's far from pleased about his performance. Well, it, my car didn't seem to work too good out there. We've got to do a little changing, it looks like. Uh, the conditions are quite a bit different here, and it uh, looks like it's going to be just a little bit harder to get the car's DET. What kind of times did you run this morning? I only run 7.50. I run 2.10, but it uh, just couldn't get a hold of anything on the racetrack. They made a change here. They've scraped the racetrack, and uh, there's a lot of loose pebbles that are being pulled up to the surface now, and it's really giving us a lot of problems. Uh, how about this crosswind out here, Connie? Is this going to be any trouble? Yes, it is. I, when I pulled in the parachute down in the lights here, it got all the car and slid it sideways on me, and it, it got into a couple of gyrations. It, uh, if this wind picks up any more this afternoon, which I believe it's supposed to, I think they're going to have a little bit of handling problems out here. Will you do anything as far as gear ratios or uh, setting the chassis up differently to counteract any sort of crosswind? Not really, because the vehicle is all under a strain when it's under acceleration and uh, the car takes a set. The wind doesn't usually affect it. It's in on acceleration. It's in the shutdown areas where you really get into trouble. Don, Connie Collette is on his way to the line, and what kind of a rough situation does he face as qualifying draws to a close? Well, we've only got about an hour and a half left, Brock. The track is now the, as good as it's going to get today. Connie is running in the 750. 750s are not going to make the program. He'll probably not get another run today. This is it. He's going to have to make it now, or he's not going to make it. So here he comes. You can hear his engine coming up now, so let's see what it's going to be. Right. Coletta probably will not make the program. As qualifying draws to a close, a mass of drivers take to the track for one last crack at making the list of 16 finalists in their respective classes. Some make it, others, including big names like Tom McEwen and Connie Coletta, do not. They have no choice but to load up and begin the long trip home.